hey guys so this is part two of keeping my mic functioning properly throughout the video so yay let's go um we're gonna do something interesting today so we are we are facing server 440 um sir philip so he has been the biggest player in um Ebony for a very very long time and probably someone we have always looked up to so i thought that maybe we can look at his generals and learn something uh we start with his rain general he has the thebes bracers uh fully specced uh, the the thing about specking the thebes bracers is that you know like you get march size capacity from the mm, uh, uh, star atlas upgrade so that's a good choice um as i said in my previous video about when i was doing gears that you know like if you do the this combination freedom hero boots plus freedom hero leg armor you get the highest buffs uh because of this 25 percent extra uh, but my problem with that is i want four pieces of planet gear because of the rally cap so yeah that, that that's a difference in choice but i think he has like a higher higher war hall so it doesn't matter so much to him so yeah mm, planet armor uh i have that too planet bow um i would have expected some more stars on that and the hans dynasty helmet i think i have the mm, abbas helmet here uh that's probably 40 percent on range attack but it misses the hp uh, i mean you can go either ways but yeah that is what it is uh then i think this is his main calf general yeah nidhogg there uh the bourbon part partisan oh uh I, mine is a little bit more spec because i want the rally cap from the bourbon set and he doesn't have four bourbon mine my, my, i have gone with four bourbon uh again for the rally cap but uh this looks like a great choice uh hans dynasty armor 30 percent mounted attack and 20 percent defense and 25 percent troop hp fantastic uh rurik boots 56 percent defense 28 percent hp again i have gone with the bourbon boots here uh, which has just has mounted attack but i want the mm, i want the rally cap four out of six rally caps so yeah that's my choice planet helmet i think that's a no-brainer definitely the best mounted helmet there is six def it says mounted troop defense hp and attack all three relevant so great um okay this one the druidic armor has like 39 percent and 28 percent total 67 percent attack i think the bourbon armor has uh attack and hp which is why i went for it and also for the four out of six but again great choice uh yeah bourbon breast is definitely right like the mounted attack the mounted defense march size capacity all relevant uh great choice okay this is a seed general uh seems like he has gone with the full hand which is what i have done he has actually ascended quite a few uh i mean this is like 100 percent siege attack that's a no-brainer absolute no-brainer uh this has siege defense siege hp both very important mm, great gear siege hp siege attack siege attack siege machine range uh, siege attack siege defense siege defense siege hp i mean this is like a i mean a lot of people try to mix and match but i think a full hand is a great combination you get like another 20 percent extra siege attack defense and hp 15 percent rally gap great combination i think i mean for me a full hand is like a great combination uh, there might be ways to optimize it but even if you're going full hand you should be killing it anyway uh, uh the f the fury bracers uh 56 percent defense 44 percent hp 17 percent march cap great gear uh this one has 81 percent attack again great uh 
I'm a little surprised by the uh, decision to actually ascend the katana and the braces. Uh, I mean, ground kills anyway. I wouldn't waste my uh, ascending on these, but again, I, I, I have a lot less resources than him, so uh, that's fine. Uh, freedom hero armor, the best armor there is for ground, I think. 30% attack, 35% HP, and 30% defense. Uh, great. Mm, the Fury Boots is great. Uh, the Antoine Leg Armor is a fantastic choice. 35% attack, 30% defense. I'm not convinced about the Fury Helmet. I think there is an Aztec or a uh, Antoine Helmet which is better. I need to look at that. But yeah, uh, I mean, of course, everything's just so great in this account. Looks amazing. Uh, okay, William Marshall. He has not ascended anything. I don't think he needs to with his defense. But let's look at his refines. Uh, so the attack is a mixture of siege and ground, which makes sense. Same here. I think four and four, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Great refines. Uh, range troop defense okay I'm not sure why he would want range troop defense I mean range would engage would need defense only after his all his calves are dead uh, yeah I'm not very sure about that uh, again range troop defense okay I would do it differently but I mean who am I to question his decisions uh, mounted to HP and a combination of siege and range to HP again. Uh, I, I'm again. I I wouldn't put range to HP, but if it works for him, and all percentages, no flats. Of course, at hundred sixteen billion, you don't need flats. You're good. Your top tires will survive. So yeah. Okay, this is a secondary gen. Not leveled up to forty five. Uh, uh, so the Antoine shield, uh, great gear. Uh, I'm not sure about the Fury leg armor, right? It just says ground defense. Ah, the two out of six, 30% ground troop attack and HP. Yeah, okay, okay. So this and this are together giving that. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. The Antoine helmet, 40% attack and 35% defense. I think it's better than the Fury helmet. Um, yeah, I don't know why he had the Fury helmet on the main, but uh, this just looks better. Uh, the Antoine plum and the Hans Dynasty boots is for 40% ground HP and 20% 20, 20 defense. Okay. Uh, looks good. Oh, let's take a look at his skill books okay mounted to HP siege machine range bonus range to range uh, yeah I think range range bonuses are the are the most important skill books to be very honest um, would have been fascinating to see what his uh, uh, assistants have but yeah fantastic uh, skill books okay I have I just run full thieves on this but uh, Thieves Sword, Planet Ring, great. Bourbon Helmet, I have it on my secondary calf general because of the mounted troop defense and HP, but it also has 25% range attack, so I see the merit in putting it on his secondary range. Uh, Planet Armor, again, I have it on my secondary mount. Mu no, no, I have it on my primary mount. No, secondary mounted, yeah. But. I can see why he put it here. Uh, bourbon boots. Bourbon boots I have on my primary mounted for the rally cap. 4 out of 6. Uh, but again, I can see why he put it Secondary range. Thebes armor. Yeah. Not so great. But okay. Probably the second best range armor. Not so sure about that. Uh, this is his secondary siege. He has gone full Abbas on this. Yeah, this was talking about, right? The Abbas helmet is just better than the Hans helmet for range. 
40% range attack right here. Uh, I think the Abbas set also has March size capacity. No, I think it has range and siege machine attack on the Star Atlas upgrade. So, okay. Okay. The full Abbas uh, range, siege machine defense and HP, leg armor is good. Uh, siege machine attack on the boots. Uh, siege machine defense and attack yeah yeah great choice to go with that and then you have the enemy troop attack minus 15 percent and rally cap with it pretty damn good and finally his secondary calf general uh, yeah this one's pretty good freedom gear 15 percent plus 30 percent 45 percent attack 15 percent march size cap uh, Rurik Armor has uh, Mounted Troop HP and mount, mount, Mounted Troop Defense, uh, which is good. Uh, yeah, has the Freedom Hero element. Oh, yeah, 25% uh, troop attack and 30% HP. So, yeah, pretty damn good. Uh, bourbon leg armor according to me is the prime it goes on the primary gen um, remember he had rurik on it 68% attack versus 35% attack and 45% HP I will choose bourbon also 4 out of 6 rally cap uh, rurik armor yeah I think that's it uh, I hope you enjoyed that those were like oh my god i'm so jealous about his generals uh those were some great generals uh i'm, I'm looking f I, I i mean i would have really looked forward to playing him this svs but sadly i'm traveling again but yeah so excited to be playing him and let's see uh hope big wins thank you very much for watching bye guys